At Chrome Enterprise, we want enterprises to be able to deploy the best solutions in the market to keep employees and enterprise resources safe with a best-in-breed approach to the enterprise stack. Chrome Enterprise has partnered with Ping Identity on a new integration to provide zero-trust access controls built into the browser to make sure that corporate resources are only accessed from approved browsers with threat and data protections enabled. With this device trust integration, organizations are able to shift access controls from the network perimeter to individual users and devices. More than 30 context-aware device signals provided at the time of login can be used directly to determine risk levels during authentication or authorization and can then lead to policies that require a step-up like triggering two-factor authentication or deny access to an asset. The signals can also be used to trigger other actions such as forcing an update of the device or notifying the user about necessary steps to secure their endpoint. Let's take a look. Here a user is browsing to a corporate resource that requires authentication through Ping Identity. The admin has a requirement that the device has a minimum version of Chrome in order to access this resource. Since the browser is out of date, the device is blocked from accessing corporate resources from an outdated version. Once it is updated, the user can gain access to the corporate resources. Now let's get it set up. In order to set up the connection from Chrome browser to Ping, you will need to create a service account in the Google Cloud Console at console.cloud.google.com. You will need a Google Cloud account with admin access, as well as the Google Admin Console to set up this integration. If you don't already have an existing admin account, ask your super admin to give you access. Once logged into the Google Cloud Console, click on the Project drop-down menu at the top left corner and click the New Project button at the top right of the dialog. Give your project a name and click Create. Next, add the Chrome Verified Access API, as this is required in your project to support the Chrome Device Trust Connector. First, select your project. Next, navigate to the drop-down menu at the top left corner Select API and Services Library. In the Search for APIs and Services text box, enter Chrome Verified Access API. Click on the one result and then click Enable. Now we need to set up an OAuth consent screen as this is necessary to generate an API key and service account for the server backend. Select OAuth consent screen. Select Internal for the user type and click Create. Next, work through the wizard to give your project an app name, a support email address, and a developer contact information. Then press Save and Continue. Next, click the Add or Remove Scopes button and do a search for www.googleapis.com forward slash auth forward slash verified access. Select the checkbox by the scope and hit Update. Next, we will create an API key Select Credentials. Click on the Create Credentials button at the top. Choose API Key from the drop-down menu and click on the Edit API Key link in the dialog that appears. Under API Restrictions, select Restrict Key. Find and select the Chrome Verified Access API and hit the Save button. Now let's create the service account by browsing to IAM and Admin, Service Accounts. Click the Create Service Account button at the top. Give your service account a name and click Create and Continue and then click Done. Next, click on the three vertical dots at the right of the service account and choose Manage Keys. Click on Add Key, then Create New Key. Select JSON as the key type and then click Create. This downloads a JSON file that is used for authentication. Keep the credentials of this service account in a safe place. Anyone who has access to the credentials can act as this service account. For instructions on how to integrate device trust into your Ping DaVinci and Ping Federate authentication policies, see the setup instructions via this link. You can manage Ping's device trust configurations in the Google Admin Console using Chrome Browser Cloud Management. We're going to enable the device trust connector to send device signals to Ping we can get there by navigating to Devices, Chrome, Connectors. If applicable, accept the agreement for using connectors. Hit the Plus New Provider Configuration button. 
Choose the Ping Device Trust Connector Provider and click Setup. Provide a unique name for your configuration under Configuration Name. Input the URL pattern. If you are integrating with Ping 1, the URL matcher should include the environment ID of your specific environment. If you are integrating with Ping Federate, the URL pattern is the base URL of the outbound DNS name of your Ping Federate environment. Enter in the service account information provided in the previous steps. Hit Add Configuration. Now select the organizational unit that you want to send device trust signals to Ping and select the Chrome Ping connector that was just created and hit Save. The setup is now complete and your organization is ready to share device info using Chrome Device Trust signals. With no additional agents required, you can provide zero trust conditional access to SaaS offerings, corporate resources, enable passwordless authentication, or ask less secure devices to authenticate more frequently to provide a secure end user experience. For more information, check out chromeenterprise.google.